Well, this is where I'm staying in Brownsburg for a couple of days. Over here at our friend's house. She's got a nice little condominium here. That's what these are here. I know in different states, condominiums are made differently. Some of them are several stories tall. Uh, but uh, here, the condominiums are, well, just like houses, like uh, kind of like a duplex, kind of like. But uh, for retired people here, and other people for that matter, our friend here is uh, retired. And they take care of everything. They, they outside of the house, anything on the outside that needs painted, replaced, fixed. They mow all the grass. They take care of all the concrete work. They do it all. The only thing she has to maintain is everything inside the house. Now, I can't tell you if that includes the air conditioner. It is outside the house, but my guess would be that that would come under the homeowner's maintenance to take care of that air conditioner. But I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know. I can hardly believe here it is a, the first week in June in Indiana. And it must be dry this year because everybody's watering their grass. Uh, it just seems kind of strange to me. We never started watering grass over at my place until August, September. So, sign, sign of the times, I guess. Things are changing. But it's a nice little neighborhood. And we eat with... Uh, Oh, guys, from Avon, right downtown Avon. We're not, uh, I don't know, five miles, maybe five minutes to downtown Avon where all the good shopping and stuff's at. And down to Brownsburg, downtown Brownsburg, maybe same thing, five minutes. We had breakfast at uh, my favorite place, Flapjacks. Actually, it's the whole town's favorite place. Um, and Flapjacks is only five minutes from here, uh, down the road, going out the backside down there. So it's a very convenient location here. School's just right down the road. Everything is five minutes from here. It's very quiet back here. So this is where we're staying for a couple of days. I'm in Brownsburg, Indiana, and I'm in the back of a, um, a storage area, I guess you call it, warehouse area. It's uh, kind of interesting, and maybe not to a lot, but uh, what you see in the back lot here is I know somebody that uh, has this building right here. We're gonna go see him here in a little bit. Spencer's uh, Engineering, and um, this is where all the race car drivers are moving to. Um, that building right over there, I believe, is John Force uh, Racing. He's got that whole building. He's got a second building here somewhere. Um, one of these buildings over here, they make uh, the racing helmets. Uh, I can't think of the name of that business. And uh, the, a lot of the uh, Indy 500 car uh, people. Uh, they've got their race cars and their um, their staff um, set up in here So uh, being in Brownsburg, Indiana eight miles west of Indianapolis on 74 This is becoming the race car um, Capital of this whole area not too far from here roughly. I'll say maybe four miles if that is where the quarter mile racetrack is at and that's where they hold the uh, um, the finals is right there. I've been over there. A friend of mine, he, he goes over there every year. And uh, uh, his name's Tim Barry. He took me over there once and took me in a golf cart ride all the way around the place and showed me everything. So, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that go on here. A lot. And uh, a lot of people don't even realize a little small town like Brownsburg has got all these million dollar corporations right right around the corner so here we're still on our our happy trails voyage uh, we'll be leaving here tomorrow we just had uh, breakfast at my favorite uh, gas station as I call it and uh, said hi to a lot of folks gonna have dinner tonight so that's uh, that's a little tour of the back of the back lot 
the main streets out front, but uh, seeing the backside where everybody's working here is what is a sight that a lot of people don't yeah, see. On the end, down here, where that little red mini's parked uh -huh. out front. It's right behind it. Which one of these is John Force's building? It's on around. The it's corner. on around. And there's also, which one of these buildings is the one that makes the uh, race car helmets? That one was right on this side. It's oh, already past it. I'm already on their own side of the road. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't know. I was at the post office with Hank one day, and I was going to go back out, and he said, Remy, you know you can go straight out from here, don't you? Towards the back of the building. And I said, no. He said, just do it. I'll show you. And we came out on 56th Street. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could do Back behind Donnie's? No, behind the post office. Oh. Uh, I, I was going to say, I didn't realize there was an exit out back behind Don's no, back there. No, it's not. And the next <coughs> open now. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's open now. Yeah, You have to turn off of this road to see it. Well, I mean, you see the front of it up here. Yeah, it's Guitar Center. Right here, on your left. Oh, right there, yeah. There's John Force's building. Yeah. 